Ukraine carried out a massive and successful attack on the Russian Black Sea Fleet in the Black Sea. Residents recorded explosions in Sevastopol Bay, followed by huge plums of smoke rising into the sky. Based on the footage, analysts quickly identified the source of the attack and concluded that the fire originated in the area west of the bay where the Russian fleet is located. Following the incident, however, local authorities said that most of the rockets were shut down and the fires were quickly brought under control. However, further investigation revealed the seriousness of the situation. According to the data, the targets of the attack were in the eastern part of the Gulf, and it became certain that Ukraine targeted maintenance and repair facilities of the Russian fleet. At the time of the attack, two intact ships, the landing ship Minsk and the submarine rostov Nadonu, were undergoing maintenance. The Russian Defense Ministry was forced to admit that both ships were damaged due to multiple confirmations. However, the Ukrainian intelligence spokesperson reported that the Ukrainians caused possibly irreparable damage not only to these two ships, but also to the repair facilities. Recently released satellite images provided more information on the extent of the damage. This attack shows that Ukraine has taken a bold step against the Russian Black Sea Fleet, severely limiting the fleet's operational capability. In the case of the attack, landing craft Minsk, the complete collapse of the ship's upper part and the explosion probably caused a fire in the engine room. Given the extent of the damage, it is conceivable that the ship may have been lost. This would mean that the Russians have lost their third assault landing ship in the last year. The first two were lost in Berdyansk, while the second was hit by a drone at sea. The submarine rostov Nadonu was also seriously damaged and on fire. According to Russian analysts, it might be easier to build a new submarine rather than repair the ship. Therefore, it is conceivable that this ship carrying Russia's caliber cruise missiles, may have also been destroyed. It was also reported that around 40 Russian sailors were killed or wounded during the attack. Initially, the casualties were said to be among factory workers, but given that the attack took place at night and there were no workers on site, it appears that the casualties were among the Marines on guard duty. While Ukrainian officials say that these attacks on Crimea will continue, how Russia will prevent them is a question mark. How do you evaluate Ukraine's attack on the Russian Black Sea Fleet? We are waiting for your opinions.